All right, when I start a pixie, I usually always start on the side. But the thing is, most people cut straight up and down. I want to still use my angles in motion, so I section right through the parietal ridge, lift it up, and what I do is I take this entire section and check this out. This is what makes a pixie, to me, fall soft. I pick this up, I wrap it around my hand, and bring it over here. So I want it short, so I'm bringing about a finger width deep, and I cut that straight off. And what happens when I over direct up, it leaves the middle, takes the middle short. And when this falls, now look at how soft all of that falls in. Mm -hmm. So I do the same thing the whole way around. I follow the ridge of the bone. I come here, I lift this up. I come back here and cut it off here. I do this the whole way around. I pick it up and cut it across. So when I do that, when I lay it down, look how clean and smooth all of that lays, okay? I do the same thing here. So I take it, I wrap it around my hand and cut it short to long. So when I do that, it all falls soft here. And then I cut the length off afterwards. So I come around. During this part, I'm fast forwarding so it really doesn't matter. Okay. See how clean that looks? Mm -hmm. I do the same thing here. So I take the back to connect everything. As I'm here, I wrap and cut it off. Then everything falls. How many times have you cut your finger? With here, do it not much. No more. Okay, so now let's do the top. What I want to do with the top is I take everything and over direct it. I take everything that I did and do the same thing. I over direct to the opposite side. I come here, short to long, just like when I do my four section haircut as I bring this across. So when I'm able to do that, when this falls in, check out how clean now all of that falls. So now I'm on this side of the top where it's her heavy side, I take three subsections. My guide's gonna be in the crown. So I pick it up, I bring it to the opposite side Using my subsection here, I cut short to long. Take the next piece. The reason I'm cutting short to long is I want the front of her hair long. I bring this out to the opposite side short to long. Last section, I bring this up, I bring this over. There's my guide in the crown. I cut short to long. And then now check it out clean and smooth her hair falls in. And I'll do the same thing with the back. I take the back in one section. Oh, I missed this. Picking it up, coming across, and cutting that off. So when I do that, everything falls here and falls clean and breaks up right in there to give her a little bit of weight and volume here. So now all I do is clean the edges up and we're ready to go. So I tuck everything back behind the ear. Then I come here and come around because I want to create some distance and length. I bring all that in, cutting down longer in the front. Look how clean. What do you guys think? Mm -hmm. Looks good. It falls pretty. Mm -hmm. So everything just gives her that clean look. And I do use a ton of over direction. Anything going on? Ariana, are we doing the towel service? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So do the same thing here in your head.
see. All this out. So now what I'm doing here is I want to clean this up. I just pull out, taper in, taper in, and taper in. So then everything there is super clean. Is he coming to worse now? Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry. Oh, babe, I don't care. I thought he said anything going on. Anything going on? No, 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 I know. I realized that was like, perfect. Hey, okay. <laughs> perfect. So now we're gonna blow dry. All right, so you can cut it off. I love this. 